Welcome to another edition of Eunice MQL Minute. My name is John Wiegerchess and I'm here with Eunice Larry Tilma. Hello, John. And we're here to discuss dry chips using Eunice Kulu. So Larry, in the past we've talked about some of the benefits of MQL and how machinists can get away from the flood coolant. Um, I see you have the uh, Eunice Kulub here, but uh, I see that you brought something else for us today. Yeah, you know, we talked about Kulub and uh, the great benefits it offers over uh, flood coolant for many people. And uh, one of the benefits I want to talk about today is about uh, dry chips that result from using the Eunice MQL process. Sure. Yeah, they, they feel awful dry. I mean, there doesn't feel like there's any lubricant there at all. Well, you know, chips are a byproduct of any machining operation, whether it's uh, cutting or sawing uh, or any machining. And chips come in different sizes, and some people call, refer to it as swarf also. And that's where you've got a combination of the chips and the coolant. And, uh, but we like to talk about why our swarf is dry. So Larry, essentially the swarf or the dry chips are uh, the byproduct of a machining process, right? I mean, it's essentially waste? Well, not exactly waste. The, these aluminum chips and similar chips can be recycled. I mean, that's how many businesses recoup some of the um, cost of the raw materials okay. is they will send those back to the uh, recycler. Um, we generate a lot of chips here. Why don't we go take a walk? I'll show you where we store them. Okay, sounds good. Here, John, is where we store some of our uh, used uh, aluminum chips, the ones that we've taken off the saw or some of our other, other machines. Now just reach in there and grab those, some of those chips. Well, these are totally dry, and that's oh, from using, using Kulub. So, now, if, I mean, if it was, I guess if there was a lot of lubricant, it'd be all over the box, wouldn't it? Yeah, typically you wouldn't be able to store chips in a cardboard box like this because the, the coolant would be all over the place. It'd be soaking the cardboard and all over the floor. Well, in this way, you could probably just pick it up with a high-low and take it right to the recycler. That's exactly what we do. So, Larry, not only is uh, MQL neater um, when, you're, when you're cutting, but it, I can see that after that's done and you've got all of this waste, um, it's, it's cleaner and neater as well. Well, cleaner and neater, but also it's going to save you money because when you get these chips into a recycler, they're going to uh, like that better. You're going to get better scrap value. Mm -hmm. um, some recyclers have told us that with coolant, they will deduct like 20% of the, of the weight because of the coolant. Sure. So there's huge advantages to uh, using Unist Coolub in an MQL process, especially in uh, machining things like aluminum. Okay. So if, uh, if our viewers want to hear a little or know, understand a little bit more about Unist, and that neat process, uh, how can they find out more information? Well, as always, you can just go to unist.com. That's unist.com, and you'll find all kinds of information about these processes. Mm -hmm.